The Department of Education unexpectedly cut about 100 public school bus routes last month, and that set many families scrambling to arrange for other ways to get their children to class this week. To ease the transition, the city stepped in, offering to add buses where it could. So three days into the first week of school, officials are now breathing a little easier. So far, it seems that families are coping and children are getting to school. KITV4's Catherine Cruz has the story. When thousands of students returned to campus to start the new school year, no one was sure what to expect in those areas where bus service has been cut. The new man in charge of student transportation, who's only been on the job a month, acknowledged the news caught parents by surprise. This was kind of a, a, uh, an abrupt uh, set of circumstances that we're dealing with with this school year. But LaRue wasn't the only one watching closely this week. The city added more buses in Kapolei, Mililani, Eva, Waipahu, and Pearl City, anticipating higher ridership, which has materialized in some areas, but not others. We were watching the crowding on the buses, and certainly we're seeing a lot more school kids on the buses now. And, you know, we didn't add service in all the areas, so we're watching all of our buses and seeing which ones are picking up loads that are too heavy and where we should adjust. The DOE said it expects it may be about a month before it has a good handle on how much of an issue the school bus cuts will be. Some parents perhaps are still driving their children to school, uh, but we've got to give it a, probably about a month before we can look at it from an analytical standpoint and say, okay, do we have the right routes with the right ridership in the right spots? LaRue said the DOE is fielding complaints from Mililani, Halava Heights, and IAEA about the lack of service. IAEA is difficult because some of our routes don't exactly um, service the areas that need to be serviced directly. And as you know, um, FDA rules prohibit us from directly servicing the schools because we're not supposed to compete with the private sector in that area. So we're limited to altering frequency on the services that we already have in place. The city expects to tweak its schedule as private school and university students head back to class later this month. And the city says it can continue for as uh, only as long as gas prices don't start soaring again. As we know, that's the reason why other city bus routes are being trimmed. Back to you. All right. Thanks a lot, Catherine.